Dark Matter 2525 made a video which targets apathetic atheists. And these are atheists that are pretty much given up on having dialogue. Um, they are people who are apathetic of this conversation. They are apathetic of um, debates between theists and atheists. And they pretty much want everyone to shut up. And they want everyone to just stop having these conversations because no one is going to convince anyone. And that there are bigger problems in the world that we need to focus on. These are also the same type of people who might say stuff like, it offends people, or there is a time and a place for all this to happen, and you shouldn't be questioning other people's beliefs, because you aren't exactly sure of your position either. But first, I would like to clarify in this video who exactly this is dedicated to. So, this is not for people who are not interested in these conversations. If they stay clear, if they don't feel like talking about it with me on YouTube or in real life, or if they just generally don't think about these things on a daily basis or don't care to think about these things, that's fine. I totally respect that. I am not interested in a whole list of things. Maybe I should be more interested in them, but some things I'm genuinely not interested in discussing, and I don't engage in active discourse on those topics, and that's fine. What I don't approve of are people who push their apathy onto others and expect other people to be apathetic in the same way. Firstly, I am not in the business of accommodating for people's opinions if they do not properly support it. I am fairly certain that all of you in my audience know that by now, and for those of you who are new to my channel, you will soon realize this fact. As Dark Matter pointed it out, it is so hypocritical when people do this, because you're essentially telling me to stop shoving my beliefs down other people's throats, which I don't think I'm doing, but let's just say I'm doing that, and while you yourself are engaging in the same act of shoving your beliefs down my throat. I get that you might not be interested in what I have to say, that's fine, but I don't see why it's any of your goddamn business to tell me what I should or should not do with my time, as long as I'm not infringing on anyone else's rights. If it annoys you to listen to what you perceive as constant arguing or debating, if it so bothers you that you can't stand it anymore, leave. I'm not forcing you to stay. I'm not forcing you to listen. But you can't tell me what I should or should not do just because you don't feel comfortable about it. Like, if I was causing a disturbance, and if I was just, like, keeping up the neighbors or something, or if I um, was harassing someone who really didn't want to have a conversation with me, fine. Then you have every right to interfere. But if it's a conversation between two consenting individuals that just particularly offends you or annoys you, then what business of it is yours to tell those two people what they should or should not do? And so what if I offend other people? So what if theists are offended? I get offended by anti-gay people. I get offended by fundamentalists who seem to paint us atheists as the spawn of Satan. Yeah, that stuff offends me too, but you know what? I don't go and try and stop everyone from offending me. What right do I have to do that? None. And quite frankly, I wouldn't want people who offended me to shut up in the first place. I want their ideas to be broadcasted into the public sphere so that I can refute them in a fair and even manner. And the same thing goes with this whole there's a time and place argument because um, I think that there should never be a, a restriction where we have to make sure everyone is catered to in such a way that it won't offend them and that this discussion is all just going to be niceties and back padding. No, I think that the best types of discussions, the most honest ones, the ones that are the most thought-provoking, are the ones that generally offend people. I see this happening most on Facebook, um, and this is when people say, oh, well, there's a time and place when you should post your beliefs and do it on your own wall, not on my wall, because I'm a Christian, or I'm a Muslim, or I'm an anti-gay rights activist, and I 
I'm offended by this shit. Well, okay, if you can post all the shit you do, like all your religious shit and all the stuff on God and how much you love God and whatever, then I think that people have just as much right to criticize that. And sure, you can silence them, you can block them, but in my eyes at least, that just makes you a coward. As for the whole argument that there are more important things to focus on in the world, I suppose you can make that argument. Um, but, you know, there are certain things that are important to certain people. There are certain things that people are good at. And one thing I think I'm at least decent at is arguing on YouTube about philosophical issues like this. And, um, yeah, maybe I could be stopping world hunger or something, but does that mean that we shouldn't stop the smaller problems when we see them, just to focus on the bigger picture? I think that's pretty impractical. Like, let me give you an analogy. So, uh, someone steals, like, some valuables from someone else, and the police department says, Why should I go and help you catch this thief when, um, people everywhere are dying? And uh, your problems don't seem to be nearly as important, so why don't we focus on the bigger picture here? Like, what kind of stupid fucking logic is that? In short, you cannot silence people from having these discussions just because you're uncomfortable with it or because other people might be uncomfortable with it. And if you think you're cool just by trying to be like, oh, well, I'm beyond all this argumentation, I'm beyond discussion, I'm just going to let things stand and I'm going to criticize anyone who does otherwise. Then you are no better than the people you're criticizing. And you're also not cool. May the truth always be heard. Peace.